When anyone talks about the golden days of the Boston and Maine, visions of the moguls immediately spring to mind. Although they were not as numerous as some other classes, they were nonetheless endearing to all who had the opportunity to see them in action. Of all the classes of moguls that the Boston and Maine rostered, the B-15s are probably the best remembered having lasted the longest. They were all built in the first decade of the 20th century by Manchester and Schenectady. A number were superheated and equipped with Franklin economy steam chests, and they would last until the 1950s. Although they were less powerful than their contemporaries, the 460 C-Class C-21s, they were lighter in weight and so could end their days in branch line service. The Claremont and Hillsboro branches are especially remembered as Mogul Country, an endearing nickname established for the use of moguls on freight and passenger trains in rural New Hampshire. The Boston and Maine rostered a large number of earlier moguls, which had been inherited from the Fitchburg Railroad and the Worcester, Nashua, and Rochester Railroad when those lines were leased some years earlier. They were a motley mix of older machines, some built by Taunton, others by Dixon, and a few other manufacturers, and some of these engines barely lasted beyond 1911 to support their new numbers in the 1911 renumbering. Others had been built as compounds, and had been built when compounding was in vogue, only to be rebuilt simpler when the increased maintenance costs ate up the fuel savings. By 1930, all of these older machines had either run out of time or had been sold or scrapped. The moguls, especially the B-15s, were well adapted for all tasks assigned to them. Branch line mixed trains, switching, and local freight service, just to name a few. They were among the last steam locomotives to be retired in the 1950s, a fitting testimony to their utilitarian service. A handful of B-15s were retired in the late 1920s and 1930s, but a vast majority were retired in the late 1940s and early 1950s, when diesel power became more prominent. Seven locomotives were actually sold off secondhand to other railroads. In 1926, number 1409 and 1417 were sold to the Montpelier and Wells River Railroad of Vermont. In 1929, four locomotives were sold to the St. Johnsbury and Lamoille County Railroad of Vermont, the 1419, 1485, 1491, and 1492. The very last B-15 to be sold second-hand in 1946 was the 1489 to the Saratoga and Schuylerville Railroad of New York. The B-15s held on to the bitter end of steam operations on the Boston and Maine, with a number surviving in freight and passenger roles until the mid-1950s. One of the final holdouts was the Central Massachusetts branch, where the commuter runs from Boston to Clinton were often powered by B-15 moguls. The last run of steam on the Central Mass, powered by a B-15, came on May 4, 1956. However, steam on the Boston and Maine in general did continue for another nearly three months with the Boston and Maine's famous P-2 class Pacifics on other lines. Today the B-15 moguls are remembered fondly by enthusiasts of the Boston and Maine, not only because they have an interesting aesthetic and a utilitarian appeal, but because they represented an interesting dichotomy on the Boston and Maine, one that the railroad itself became known for. Because at the same time that the Boston and Maine was a modern, efficient railroad, it would also represent an earlier time in railroading, one where a person could easily go out and see ancient steam locomotives pulling wooden coaches along rural branch lines through covered bridges and past country stations. It was for this reason, primarily the B-15s, that the Boston and Maine perhaps became more well known than any of its modern equipment. And maybe, just maybe, the B-15s are more evocative of the true spirit of the Boston and Maine than anything else. As they were so well respected and synonymous with the Boston and Maine, it's only fitting that one of the very few surviving Boston and Maine steam locomotives is a B-15 mogul, number 1455. 1455 was one of the very last moguls to run on the Boston and Maine and was sold in 1956 to F. Nelson Blount, the millionaire steam enthusiast, 
who displayed the engine at his Edaville Railroad for many years. It was later sold to the Cape Cod Railroad and finally to the Danbury Railway Museum, where it resides today 